Hey guys, 99% of all my corals in my setups are from Fish Guy Mike's. You guys that have been following me know who he is. And today we're gonna go down there and take a detailed look at his garage system setup. I think he's got five or six down there. All right, here we are guys. We're at Mike's. What I wanted to do today is show you his systems. Mike has about five systems in here, but he has what we would call branches to each system, meaning some of his main displays, for example, like this, will then feed other tanks, like these up here. This is his clownfish. Here's Mike, infamous Hello. fish guy Mike. Fish Guy Mike came about when I met you about 10 years ago. And I had lots of mics in my contacts on my phone. And I had to decipher you because I have such a bad memory okay. that Mike would be Fish Guy. So I had no last initial to remember any of that. Okay, so let's start with this system here, Mike. That's about 250 gallons in total. This is a 150 tank. Okay, this is a 150 tank. That would include this up here. These are all clownfish breeding stations. These are, how many are these, 20s? No, these Those are, are 220. Okay, 20, long. 20 longs. There's also this frag tank that I made. Okay, now this is what we were speaking about branches. This is, uh, let me, let's do this first. This is the sump for the system down here. As you can see, uh, this light here, Mike, for your refugium is what? 24 it's probably, hours. 24 hours, it's probably, what kind of bulb is it? LED, probably a 3500K. Yeah, just a, just a daylight from Home Depot screwed in there, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. 24 and hours, that's the key. 24 hours, right, then it doesn't go uh, sexual, right? All right, so you can see a lot of this coming back, guys, most of us just see one return coming into our tanks. Mike has two, three, looks like almost four coming back to this. And that's because they feed from different branches of the tank. All right, so this is one system here. All right. And Here's, the outside. And all oh, right, I forgot about the outside. Okay, this here, siphon feeds out to this tank here. Now now we're outside, as you can see, we're in a garage right here, guys. So you can see, <laughs> this is the garage. Uh, this system, when the door is open, is pretty much out in the cold. All right, but Mike has an additional heater in here. And see, it's gravity feeding back inside and look at the quality of these uh, corals here. They look great. All right, the water's nice. Oh, it's actually warm, you know. So what's the, the system run temperature wise? Uh, right around 80, 79, 80. Let's go next door to see that other one, Mike, because you had mentioned that from the other side. All right, in the dark here, hold on, let's see. So here's another, another room. And here's another, this is, I believe one system or two in here? Well, uh, uh, parts of three. Okay, there's go a, ahead. There's a quarantine system down below. Okay. That has the 55 somp, the 20. Okay. Or 50, whatever that is. This here? No, that's part of it. Okay. So this is like a quarantine system. Okay, this is by itself down yes. here. Nothing feeds in or out of this. Right. Okay, well, that's what it's all about. Wow, you're your uh, green star polyp in this tank are really growing. Yeah, that's all part of this side. Okay, so here's the system for this tank up here. This only, or does this no, feed no. anything else? This also has the top 33 over there. Okay, so this is feeding this setup up here. Here's more clowns. Look at these clowns, guys. They're probably not used to me coming in here. What do you call those, Mike? They're sn uh, snow... This is a frostbite. You call it a frostbite clown? Frostbite with a black and white. Oh, and those are a pair. Yeah. So you could get almost anything out of those two.
And what's this, Mike? Oh, this is your, R uh, what is this? Uh, RO unit here. RODI or just RO? Wow, Titan. This must go back away or no, yeah. And this is UV right here? No, that's no? the membranes. Oh, these are the membranes. Okay, and that's for what? Just one, one? All the systems. Like when you make any new water, it all goes through this. Awesome. All right, let's go next. These two up here, now, let's talk about DIY. This is how Mike's hold, giving this extra bracing, extra support to these two by fours that come out. Uh, he's just attached this chain and to the edge. That's pretty, that would be something I would do. <laughs> so, this system here, uh, Mike, where does this feed from? That this is the okay. Below. It's got this, a 180 sump. Okay, this is a 180 gallon sump. All right, we're going to get into this now. This sump also has a DIY algae scrubber. And this algae scrubber, Mike was telling me, is from uh, what is it, embroidery. You go into the craft store, and these sheets are embroidery, are mesh embroidery sheets that he's laid over plexiglass and just allows the water to run over. What kind of lights are these over it, Mike? Again, the Once a, daylight. Same daylight, Home Depot. Home Depot. So with refugiums, it's not important to do any serious lighting over it. Algae just hours. loves like 24 hours photo period. I see you got some Chado in there too. And then this little system, which guys have seen a lot in my uh, videos, is also part of this system through a siphon. See, here's siphon. Uh, siphons, because Mike's out here all the time and he probably has precautionary measures taken, uh, you gotta be careful. New guys, you gotta be careful. You have to know, like if, if the siphon breaks you want to make sure you have enough room in the tank below that what's ever up inside the siphon is going to fit in there so mike's got all that planned out from what i understand mike is actually the back of what shows in your house well actually that tank you see yeah see from a portal okay from my dining room. mike said he might give us a sneak peek of that at the end of the video so we'll see yeah. All right, so this system, go ahead, Mike. It's going to be nine tanks, I think. Nine tanks off that sump. from one sump, which is back there. And a little history, that's Tom Reefer's sump from about 10 years ago. It's a, I don't know the brand, I ordered it online. That's when Mike and I met. It was a, I made it myself because it had to fit underneath my, uh, 250 gallon tank and it was a big box that I cut plastic and Mike I gave it to Mike sold it to Mike and he's made good use of it so uh, I also wanted to show you these things guys Mike tell us about these little where's the good one there this one up here Mike could have a lot of fish jumping because he keeps fish in all his systems so what he's developed or what are they called? I think they're slides. Slides. They, they jump out, they end up in another tank. It's yeah. Right up in the... Perfect. So if a fish jumps, I mean, it re reduces the risk of losing the fish. And he's got these all over the place. This is one, little, right? Well, that's actually... Oh, this is... for the lights. Okay, right. He also, because his hands and arms are in and out of these, he needs stuff to protect the lights. Coffee tops. What I had. Mike does use calcium reactor. Uh, that's it back there. And uh, lighting. This is a Kessel 360 here. He's got a couple of those. Some of these lights go back some time, right? Mike back here uses some of these actinics. These are called actinic yeah. for blue light. What are these? These look the same brand. Black boxes. They're, you call China. them? What is yeah, it? Black box from China. Oh really? Yeah. Just Chinese? Yeah. Yeah, they're cheap. They're uh, these, cheap. These up here, how about the white those ones? The oh, they are, look at those. Those are old AI. How, they must be pretty old, right? Probably, yeah. These are just fluorescent, but clowns oh, yeah. don't need anything more than that for breeding, right? Oh. All right. 
What else can we talk about? Mike's gonna show us. So you just had a, yeah, you can see him moving. You see the little white, wow. So yeah, I can see them. I think they'll show up. That's very cool. All my systems have been live rock from your systems. Uh, how yeah. old is all this live rock in here, you say? Some couple years, could be uh -huh. up to 30 years. Up some to 30, uh, some of it could be 30 years old, right. See, so he's got some live rock over here. Did you take a stab, 15 to 20 nitrate? Or? <laughs> yeah, threes. <laughs> Ready? Right, I'm gonna have you meet the dog. Oh, really? Is that better, you think? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Here we go, guys. Mike, by trade, is a carpenter. But, yeah. But look at what he can look at when he's at his desk here, if you want to call it that. He probably does his stuff here. Whoops. Check this out. This is the other side of the setup. Very cool, Mike. You said you had a porthole of the other side? Oh, look at this. Oh, see? <laughs> like if I can get the lighting just right on that, that's so interesting. Look at that. That is very cool. That's why that system is set up that way. Uh-huh. And that spackle bucket and then the side of the tank. Right. R right. So now you can come in. It's two side viewing, but you have this cool porthole. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that really is.